The Banana Bike is hands down one of the best budget balance bikes we've ever tested. Having tested over 100 balance bikes over the years, we can confidently say that the Banana Bike is a great choice for those on a tighter budget. Available in two models, the GT with air tires and the LT with foam tires, both bikes feature a long, sturdy frame, which helps to create a steady, easy to balance bike. But which one is best for your toddler? Here are five things you need to know about the Banana Bike LT and GT balance bikes before you click that buy button. In this video, the GT is yellow and the LT is pink. Number one, tires. The main difference between the GT and the LT are the tires. The GT has air tires that offer more traction as well as cushioning compared to the foam tires on the LT. The foam tires on the LT, however, are made of solid foam, so if you go in that direction, you'll never have to worry about a flat tire. After testing so many balance bikes, we have seen again and again that air tires outperform foam tires in all types of riding, from paved surfaces to dirt roads, but we also understand that many parents don't want to deal with the potential of a flat tire. Foam tires certainly have their place and are a great choice for those looking for a maintenance-free bike. If your child is mainly riding on paved surfaces, the traction provided by foam tires will be just fine. Number two, headset. The Banana Bike GT and LT also have very different headsets, which is the part of the bike that connects the handlebars to the frame. The GT comes with an upgraded threadless headset, which helps the smoothness of steering. It also helps keep the handlebars aligned after falls. While the Banana Bike LT has a more basic threaded headset, it does have the advantage of being able to adjust the handlebars up to an inch and a half. Raising the handlebars helps keep kids in a comfortable upright position as they grow. Number three, handlebars. The Banana Bike GT has handlebars that are much lower than the Banana Bike LT, as you can see here. Lower handlebars put a child in a slightly more leaned forward position, which makes it easier to lean in to run for top speeds and also allows them to maneuver the bike more aggressively on trails, at skate parks, or even just going up and over curbs. Lower handlebars are great for confident, adventurous riders. Paired with the GT's air tires, these handlebars and tires are a great combo for kids who want to get out and tackle the world. Higher handlebars, like those found on the LT, are often preferred by new and less confident riders. These handlebars keep a child in a more upright, casual position, which beginning or timid riders find natural and comfortable. Number four, seat post. One thing to note about the seat post on the Banana Bike LT. When the seat is set at its lowest height, there's only two and a half inches of clearance between the seat post and the ground. If a child is only going to be riding on flat trails, this would not be an issue. But if they might be going up stairs or over curbs, they could possibly bottom out and hit the seat post against the ground. The Banana Bike GT has ground clearance of three and a quarter inches, which is a better bet for adventurous riders. Number five, size. The Banana Bike GT and LT have very similar seat heights and both have a four and a half inch seat height range, which is generally a good fit for kids in 2T to 4T clothes. These bikes have some of the most seat height adjustment of any budget balance bike, which is great for giving kids room to grow. The seat post clamps on both banana bikes are quick release, so the seat height can be adjusted without any tools. This will come in handy more than you probably realize. So what's the bottom line? The banana bike balance bikes are great for the price, but when compared to other budget balance bikes, the GT really shines. With air tires on metal rims, the GT is just better equipped to handle just about anything a child can throw at it. Like all budget balance bikes, the banana bike can't come near to the quality found on more expensive balance bikes. The additional expense typically buys you higher quality components, a lightweight aluminum frame, and a handbrake for quicker stops. Whether that's in your budget and worth this cost is really up to you.